The Institute of Chemical Process Fundamentals, in cooperation with the Institute of Chemical Technology in Prague and the Safibra Company, under the financial support of the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports of the Czech Republic, present Vital Fluor, the instrument for the determination of yeast vitality. Vital Fluor is a new instrument for determination of cell vitality. Microbial vitality is a quality measure which strongly influences biotechnology's production of fine chemicals and wastewater treatment and the course of processes of the food industry such as dough leavening, cheese making and wine and beer fermentation. Quantitative methods have been developed to evaluate the vitality of cells. They are based on the intracellular content of different components such as glycogen or the manifestation of metabolic activity like the reduction potential or extra and intracellular acidification. None of these methods have found application in industrial biotechnologies since they require expensive equipment or show a lack of correlation with industrial important parameters. The acidification power test has shown to be a good indicator of yeast vitality at extreme conditions. But under the conditions of good manufacturing practice, it is not sensitive enough to correlate with the fermentation performance. The vitality measurement is often replaced by cell viability determination, such as methylene blue staining. However, this method only distinguishes between dead and living cells. Nicotinamide adenine dionucleotide is a coenzyme found in all living cells. The compound consists of two nucleotides joined by a pair of bridging phosphate groups. One nucleotide containing an adenine base and the other containing nicotinamide. In cell metabolism, the coenzyme accepts or donates electrons. These redox reactions involve the removal of two hydrogen atoms. The illuminated cell's suspension is greeny-blue fluorescent in contrast to water or the cultivation medium. Only the NAD reduced form is fluorescent with a maximum excitation wavelength of 340 nanometers and an emission of 460. A measure that reflects both the metabolic activities and the health of cells is the balance between the oxidized NAD and the reduced form called ratio NAD plus slash NADH. This allows us to non-invasively follow the intracellular changes. The vital fluor is composed of a light source with maximum lighting at 240 nanometers and a sensitive photodetector. The electro-optical part is connected with a computer. The determination of cell vitality with the instrument vital fluor is based on measurement on a time scan of the intensity of the fluorescence of NADH during an aerobic anaerobic switch. The measurement procedure will be demonstrated on brewing yeast. Prior to the vitality measurement, the cells are suspended in a physiological solution to a constant concentration 
determined through optical density. The suspension in the closed measuring cuvette is placed into the vital floor. After feeding the sample name, the measurement is started. The oxygen present in the cell suspension is swiftly consumed in the endogenous metabolism of the cells, resulting in anaerobic conditions inside the cuvette. This is leading to a dynamic equilibrium inside the cells in favor of fluorescent NADH. The vital fluor detects and records this equilibrium as a fluorescent signal at anaerobic conditions. After a constant output signal is reached, the cuvette is removed. And a small amount of hydrogen peroxide is added to the cell suspension where another yeast enzyme, catalase, immediately decomposes hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen. This results in a sudden alteration from anaerobic to aerobic conditions. This is accompanied by an almost stepwise decrease of the NADH fluorescence. This drop of fluorescence from the anaerobic state is closely related to cell vitality. In this video, the time record was accelerated eight times. Vital fluor automatically calculates the difference between the fluorescent intensities in the anaerobic and aerobic states. This difference is proportional to the yeast vitality. During cold storage, the yeast viability decreased from 5 to 9 percent of dead cells. The acidification power test remained almost unchanged. While vital fluor registered the drop of yeast viability the most reliably. Yeast vitality estimation using vital fluor outperformed the existing methods, especially at the low dead cell count common at good manufacturing practice. Industrial beer fermentation is carried out in large tanks. Towards the end of fermentation, yeast begins to sediment. This biomass is not discarded, but can be reused several times. Obtaining brewing yeast in optimal conditions for fermentation is therefore highly desirable in yeast production distilleries and breweries.